Hi guys, Paul from PA Brew News. Got another one from the New Trail Brewing Company, the White Out Hazy Double IPA, and these guys kill their Hazy Double IPA, so I'm looking forward to it. Enough said. Williamsport, bah, Pennsylvania, no canned on date, no ABV, <coughs> still, New Trail, still, dirty outside glass. Clean inside, dirty outside. Hmm. I have a burp going. I don't want. I'm gonna keep it in. Let's pour it into the dirty glass. The outside of the, of the glass is dirty, not the inside. Pour it in. Pour it in. Pour it in. Pour it in. Pour it. Oh, there it is. <coughs> Here's the logo again. The bite out. Here we go. I actually got a chance to drive an actual lake effect white out once. <coughs> it is crazy. I was rounding you know ohio up into michigan and i was driving in this stuff <coughs> and all of a sudden you know you're driving and you realize you don't see anything i couldn't see i couldn't tell i was on the road i couldn't tell what was next to me i couldn't tell what was in front of me and it was you know there wasn't a lot of traffic so i'm driving and the guy's next to me sleeping and you're just like you're, you feel like you've just zoned out and you're in a different dimension so I'm driving and I'm just hoping I'm on the road. And now again, now again, it's this Mack truck or whatever. It goes like 80 miles an hour next to you. I'm like, what the fuck? And they can't see either. So I don't know why they decided to drive 80 miles an hour and just hope for the best. But <coughs> so I'm doing this. You can't see the road. You can't see anything. And you're just going. And all of a sudden, it's like, I just see a road sign. You just kind of and just go away. I'm like, hmm, interesting. And I'm just like, hmm. And, when, and I just saw one that said rest area. I'm okay. Well, I mean, it's going, and I, and I just started pulling over, and I just slowly started seeing a gas station. But I didn't see a gas station. All I saw was one gas pump. And I didn't see the top of the gas pump or the next gas pump. I just saw one gas pump in the middle of nowhere. And I kind of got out, and I pulled up. And I feel like, I, like it's dimensional. Like you're just standing... At this one single gas pump in the, the world you live in. And this is it. And this is what your world is. You and this gas pump. And you don't see anything. And it's not windy. It's not blowing. It's not snowing. It's just white. Everything's white. Around you. And that's all you see. It would be it'd make an amazing movie. Shit like that. And I'm like, okay. Well, I guess I came from this direction. The gas station must be in this direction. So... <coughs> I started walking. I started walking. And as soon as I started walking, I looked around and that gas pump, I was standing there, disappeared. And then I was in nothing. So I kept walking. And then another gas pump. And it was, it's this crazy. Then and this gas pump just appeared. Okay, cool. And then I walked away and that one disappeared. And I kept walking. And then the Starbucks sign just came out of nowhere. You can't see anything else, just the sign. Okay, cool. And then all of a sudden, like, you walk through and then these doors open up and there's a store inside. And you're going, fuck it. And then you look outside, there's nothing white. You can't see anything. And it was the weirdest shit in the world. It was really cool, but really kind of weird and scary at the same time. But cool. Anyway, to this beer, that was my story time. See, there's a sink right here, so it was, it's, just, it's just filled in the sink. It's pretty good. <laughs> here we go. Let's get an aroma. Cheers. There's a little passion fruit in there. Peach passion fruit. There's a twinge of grapefruit. I got a peach passion fruit. Mango. A little earthy fleshiness in there. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Cheers. Even this is even though this is cold. Still got that nice medium side of a medium body. A little bit of pilliness, oiliness. Those, that malt base is bringing a little sweetness to it. You're getting, again, you're kind of getting that kind of passion fruit, apricot, mango kind of a thing going on. A little fleshy sweetness. A hint of grapefruit. It's probably like an earthy fleshiness.
Interesting drinking these beers so cold. Is there, is there, is there condensation on glass? <coughs> Yeah, it's good. It's good. Definitely a crusher. This is probably about eight, eight point five. And you could just smash this. And you will black out instead of white out. Mm. Absolutely. Easy crusher. Really nice beer. Has a very beautiful stone fruit quality to it fleshy stone fruit apricot peach passion or passion fruit kind of quality definitely definitely different there's a dirty table over there huh see all that beer there's beer right there and there's some camera equipment and some other bullshit and it's a lot of juice boxes right now it's my hobby table <laughs> instead of the kitchen table uh, I would like to see what this tastes like, really, like the way I like to drink at room temp, you know what I mean? It's a little bit cold right now, but as it's cold, it's nice, it's really nice. And I know this, that, that kind of sweet fleshiness would build up even more when it warms up, and I just, that's a nice, that's a nice thought. Hmm. Oh, that's good. There's rarity. My kids put My Little Ponies all over my beer my beer glass collection, and I'm okay with that because normally I would do that. Now it's time for a cubie. Let's see where did I put that? Oh, there it is. Here is the icicle hazy, and here is the whiteout double. Time for a cubie. All right. This one is skipping. That's okay. It's a cubie skip. So let's pour the the tropical fruit forward, but a bit too dry. <coughs> Icicle in. Now we will top it up with the fleshy fruit forward with a bit of sweetness. White out in. There it is. Now this is the white icicle. Or icicle out. <laughs> icicle out, folks. Here it is. That looks like a really nice beer. <laughs> that really does look fucking great. But it's not a Trogs product. It's a Nutrail product. Because I don't have a big pint glass for Nutrail. But that looks really, really nice. I am in the 80s pop culture shit. Right now happening look at that we did actually really did uh, really stop at a weird off like awkward college techno beat right now and if I didn't tell you you might not even know so let's get in our taste let's fucking just taste it I wonder if I can see my breath in here not quite not that cold but it's pretty cold That's it. Oh man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. The 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 whiteout's bringing all that sweet kind of body character. It's not overboard. I mean, it's it's this there. It's playing its role. It didn't play its role in Icicle, but it's playing its role here right now. And okay, uh, glow in the dark teeth. Um, I need to brush some more. Oh, shit. Uh, with a chainsaw. The the icicles bring a nice tangerine grapefruit tones, and that, and then of course that whiteout's bringing that nice fleshy fruit tone and balancing it. Oh, balancing those fruit tones really nicely. I like the fact that there was a nice little kind of a twinge of a passion fruit, uh, papaya passion fruit kind of thing going on with um, 
with white out that I could really get peach passion fruit and stuff like that but there was more heavy tangerine grapefruit with icicle and this is a very good blend Cuvee a lovely Cuvee I would give this overall 8.5. I'd say 8.5 because they've had better double IPAs, hazy double IPAs. So 8, 8.5. Eight, the combination is getting a 9. The Kuvie gets a 9 because it's combining everything that you wanted those beers to be initially. It's, it's, it's giving you that tangerine. It's giving you that fleshiness. It's giving you that sweetness from the grains. It's giving you that body. It's giving you everything that is lacking on the other ones. It's coming together. Because you took the strengths and the weaknesses of each beer and you combined them and they made a better beer. Yeah, you were aware of the flaws, but you combined their strengths and you made a better beer. It's like a perfect marriage. You compliment each other. It's that beautiful. It makes me cry. And I should you. The skip has turned into a different beat. This is programmed. This is supposed to happen. Not really. It's more of a sloppy beat, though. I don't... That's... Ooh. I don't know. I don't want to ruin it, the vinyl because it's like as old as I am. Well, it's not. It's actually younger than I am, but a little bit younger than I am. But it's comical. I ha I'm having comic moments. Let's see if I can hit it. Oh, nailed it. <laughs> Probably wasn't good for the needle. Ooh. Yeah, good stuff. 9 out of 10. This has been Paul from Beer Reviews, and this is the bite out, of course. We're doing the beer review of the bite out. We covered it with the e-sickle. The e-sickle and the bite out. There it is. There it is. Took a, took a good look at it. There it is. Okay. Uh, got work tonight. Uh, home early. No kids this morning, which is sad because I like to take them to school and buy them treats and have a good time. But no kids today, so probably do another beer review, which is tree. Which I don't do more than tree. Because if you do more than tree, <coughs> you get drunk and go crazy. Uh, I did a misel vice. Oh, excuse me. I did a misel vice. I'll probably post it after this. Excuse me. Boy, that's got some carbonation. Coming up. Uh, I did a Meisel and Vice uh, beer review. Oh, God, another one. I'm sorry. It's, I don't know what's going on. Kill me. I'm going to blow up. Fucking Pop Rocks and Cola. I did a Meisel and Vice beer review. And I am shitty. Doesn't mean I couldn't taste, but I am just. <laughs> and I, I'll probably, that's a, I, it's going to be a pre-warning of drunken shittiness. And I'll probably post it after I post the whiteout review because then I'll know, okay, icicle, whiteout, drunken shittiness. But it's the first time I was excited too because I, I was having a moment. It was probably a good moment spurred by a bad moment or a bad moment spurred by a good moment. And I got drunk uh, and I... Finally, 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 finally found a Meisel and Weiss beer. And because I'm so excited about German beer, especially German beer I haven't had, I decided to review it. And I'm fucking, I'm not like slurry, but I'm like crazy in the beer review. And I'm like, oh, oh no. Like it was one of those, I should just delete this. Because it's just, look how drunk you are. But at the same time, I'll just post it. Fuck it. Because, you know, it's not like you guys haven't seen me drunk before. <laughs> so, it's one of those kind of deals. And uh, maybe you'll find a comical. There you go. The beard's getting longer. See, I'm not like Redbeard. I can't grow 
or like Daniel, like Sex Machine Daniel, Daniel Harper, and and Redbeard, like they can grow this in a day. This is a day for them. And the next day it's here. See, I had a big beard back in the day, but it took me time to do this. Time for them is a month. Because his beard, his red beard's beard, is already down there. Like, you know, it's... And he just shaved it clean like three months ago. And it's already there. And plus, my concept of time is shit. So it could have been three years ago, as far as I know. But I just go... I see this on him. And then I see this on him. I'm like, oh, there it is again. Well, you just poop it out. Like, you... And every time you take a big shit, it just kind of... It gets longer because you're stressing. I don't. I don't understand that. But see, I have all of this, and he's bald on the head. So maybe if you if I shaved my head bald, my beard would grow faster. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Crazy. But this is a ten. No, it's not ten. That's stupid. It's nine. <laughs> it's nine. It's not a no. It's a yes. But it's a 9. 9 out, 9 out of 10 for this one. 8.5 out of the whiteout. And 8.5 and 8 for the icicle. But you already know that. Anyway, another cat. I don't know if you can hear it though. Because there's little kittens. And they're like, meow, meow, meow. You fucked up my house, you bastard. Because they fucked up my house. And the cat gave birth. On my clean clothes. But it's okay. Because. Yay to the small things. Oh. Great. Yum, yum, yum. Pour the rest in. Pour, no, that's already in. Okay. Clean the dishes. And then we will do another burial. Bye bye. Obviously. Bye.